On the night of Fort Fairfield High School's 2013 Junior and Senior Prom, Fort Fairfield Journal photographer David Deshan caught a digital image of what appeared to be some ghostly apparitions in the darkened gym just prior to the start of the prom. Well, it was really dark in there that night, and we were allowed to go in and do pictures of the prom just before it started as the uh, kids were filtering in. And I had to adjust my camera to the low lighting conditions by using a rather long shutter speed and a very high ISO rating. I think I was on ISO 6400 or so. And um, when I took the pictures, I didn't notice anything abnormal um, when I reviewed them in my preview screen. It wasn't until about a week later that uh, I realized that I had what appeared to be an anomaly or an apparition. The apparitions appeared in only one photo of over two dozen Deshan took that night and seemed to show one female and one male figure. Both figures appeared partially solid while at the same time portions of them were transparent. Well some people will say that the um, long shutter speed will give you a motion blur and that's true. If you t open the shutter and you leave it open for anything over a 60th of a second you'll get motion blur and what that looks like is you'll see the the start of the subject uh, moving through the picture until it ends where the shutter stops and you'll have a washed out or a blurred out image uh, from start to finish. However, these apparitions did not exhibit those characteristics. In fact, they appeared motionless and solid um, at points and in other, other parts of the um, apparition they would even appear somewhat translucent or transparent and it was varying degrees of um, transparency that led me to believe that I had captured something that was other than motion blur. Rather than being motion blurred the apparitions take on an ethereal quality. Starting with the feet on the female apparition we notice they both appear to be solid while the foot on the left exhibits much more detail than the one on the right. The leg on the left then exhibits an anomaly. Going up the calf from the ankle, you'll notice the solid portion appears to be where the leg's bone, or tibia, would be while the muscle and skin appear translucent. The leg on the right, however, begins to vanish about 6 inches above the ankle and becomes completely transparent by the time you get to the knee. Going up further, the leg on the left retains the appearance of solidity at the knee in its front section but becomes invisible towards the back of the leg. By now, the leg on the right is completely invisible and a chair on the wall in the distant background can be seen as clearly as if there was nothing there at all. You will note that there is no evidence of motion blur on either of the legs. It's as if the transparent portions simply vanish from view. As we investigate the apparition further, we find that the torso becomes visibly solid just above the waistline, but going towards the shoulders, it appears to become more translucent than transparent on the right side as we move toward the shoulder area. At the shoulders, we see a solid arm in a position that appears to be waving or beckoning. This is the arm on the left. The arm on the right is completely invisible. Another interesting aspect of the left arm is that it has a duplicate forearm separated with an oblique cut at the elbow and suspended in space. The original forearm begins as transparent at the elbow, but then becomes more solid at the wrist and hand. What would be the head and face of the apparition can only be made out in wispy form with the left side solid and the right side dissipating into a mist. Looking toward the second apparition, it appears to be a male form and further away around the half court location in the gym. Noteworthy in this apparition is the large, solid work boot on the right leg, while the left leg remains a ghostly, translucent mist. Like our first apparition, this one appears to solidify at the waistline, but the people in the background can still be seen through it. A vague outline of an arm can also be seen. Moving toward the shoulder area, we find the apparition seems to be headless as the background decorations can clearly be seen, uninterrupted, where the head should be. There is no motion blur apparent in this apparition as it seems to materialize parts of its body while others remain either translucent or completely invisible. 
could these be ghosts or spirits? Or they could be anomalies of the quantum realm where all matter and energy exist merely as waves of probability until a conscious observer perceives them, or a measuring device such as a camera captures them, thus collapsing the wave function and causing particles to appear at a specific point in space and time. Well, I'm not going to sit here and say they were ghosts because I don't know, but they were indeed anomalies that cannot be attributed to motion blur. In quantum physics, we find that all matter in existence that we perceive to be is solid, liquid, or gas, in reality at the subatomic level is mostly made up of empty space. And that empty space doesn't manifest itself as a solid particle, liquid, or gas until a conscious sentient being perceives it. And it is that perception that takes those probability waves out of the quantum realm and manifests in our mind's eye, if you will, the matter that is books, trees, cars, rocks, and even people. So what we could have here is partial manifestations or partial quantum wave collapses in the quantum realm that, that um, bring, a, bring forth these people that we perceive in the picture. They're not quite solidified yet. Portions of them are. Portions of them appear to be reflecting light, but other portions of them appear to be translucent or even transparent. And um, that could be an effect of the camera uh, not being able to collapse all of the probability wave functions to create a fully solid uh, appearing human being, but merely a portion of it. Uh, where there was a little bit more light for the camera to perceive those quantum wave fluctuations, uh, the, the being appeared to be more solid, and where there was less light, uh, the camera couldn't quite make out the quantum wave fluctuations, so those remained as probability waves. And I think that uh, the further we investigate that, the, the more we will find that the quantum realm is stranger than we can imagine and can explain a lot of what we perceive to be as, as ghosts or spirits. The apparitions at Fort Fairfield Middle High School continue to be a mystery, perhaps a mystery that can only be solved with a better understanding of quantum physics and the role consciousness plays in perceiving reality.